Hi guys, Black Box here. Welcome to your new video on the FS Labs A320X. In uh, this video, I'll be talking about the hydraulic systems of the A320X. So let's get straight into it and jump into the cockpit. So on the ECAM display, I've already selected the hydraulic page. And on this page, you'll find lots of information regarding the hydraulic systems. You can immediately see that there are three different hydraulic systems named green, blue and yellow system. Below the name of the hydraulic system, you'll see a pressure indication. Normal system pressure should be around 3000 PSI. However, it does vary from time to time and also um, depending on which users are actually uh, active. The numbers will be displayed in green until the pressure drops below 1450 PSI, at which point the numbers will become amber. Going down line towards the reservoir, the next indication you'll see is a square and that represents the either engine driven pump or in case of the blue system, the electric driven pump. As long as the indication is green and in line, you'll know that the pump is working normally. If you switch off the respective hydraulic pump, the indication will become amber with a cross line. Should the pump output pressure fall below a certain value, then the square will also become amber and LO will be displayed in the box. Going further down the line, the next will be a circle. Um, this you'll find in the green and the yellow system and that indicates the fire valve, which for example will be closed when you push the fire warning switch. Further down line you'll then see the reservoir quantity indication and the green arrow shows you the actual quantity. Then you'll see a green rectangular box showing you the upper and lower limits of the normal filling quantity. And towards the bottom you'll see an amber box showing you the area where you get the low level warning. Furthermore, you have some more indicators showing you the PTU control indication also the yellow electric pump indication and last but not least the red indication and you'll get more detailed information about those later on in this video so let's now talk about which users are actually being supplied by the different hydraulic systems So let me start by saying that the green system is the most important system of those three. And that is because the green hydraulic system powers very important uh, systems like the landing gear, the normal brakes, the flaps, the slats, and also a lot of uh, control surfaces. On uh, this schematic, you can uh, actually see which of the control surfaces and other users the green hydraulic system powers. Be aware of the fact that this list is not complete. It just simply shows the most important systems. Now, obviously, it would be somewhat um, dangerous to just have one single hydraulic system. And that's why you also have a second and third hydraulic system installed in the Airbus A320. So from the list you can see that the yellow system takes over the flaps and the blue system can actually power the slats. Also very important systems like the rudder is actually powered by all three hydraulic systems. So if one of those systems fails, 
you have two remaining systems to make sure that you always have rudder power. Now here you can also see that the yellow system powers the alternate brakes. So let's now have a look at the power transfer unit. Now this unit is bi-directional and uh, so the yellow system can actually power the green system and vice versa. The PTU will activate automatically when the differential pressure between the green and the yellow system is greater than 500 psi. But uh, please be aware of the fact that there is no fluid exchange between the yellow and green system. It's just the pressure that is being transferred. Most of the time you'll actually see the PTU in action on the ground and the passengers will uh, hear that pump. It's uh, quite uh, distinct in the sound because it sounds like a barking dog. Now also there's a certain system logic behind the automatic function of the PTU. So for example here the yellow system is uh, without pressure however the PTU is not running and that is because the parking brake is set to on. If we switch the parking brake off then you'll see the PTU will start running. Switching brakes on again and the PTU stops working. Now let's talk about the yellow hydraulic system. And there you have a engine driven pump providing the system pressure, but also you have an electric backup pump. Now this pump is only to be used for short periods of time and uh, may be used also in case of an abnormal. However, longer time use may cause it to overheat. So be careful with that. And usually this pump will be used on the ground when you switch off the right engine, the number two engine. That way you still have a yellow backup system just in case the green system fails. So here we have the right hand engine switched off. Now I'm going to turn on the electric hydraulic pump. And you can hear the high pitch uh, sound from the yellow electric pump. Okay, let's switch that pump off again. And the yellow pressure decreases again. Right, let's now have a look at the Ram Air Turbine. Now the Ram Air Turbine can be extended manually or it will be extended automatically as soon as both AC main buses are powerless. So the ram air turbine is a little propeller which drops out and um, then turns due to the airflow around the aircraft. So the ram air turbine supplies blue hydraulic power and if needed it can supply some electric power. Now the rat can only be stowed on the ground again and so once it uh, is extended um, it will supply the electric and hydraulic blue power. Now you notice on the ECAM uh, display that the pressure being output by the RAT is uh, a little bit below 3000 psi, typically around 2400-2500 psi. So this concludes the video about the overview of the hydraulic system in the A320X. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have further questions, as always, post them down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer those as fast as I can. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, happy landings.